afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Propaganda Cast Layer with me, your host, Imperial Dane, your only sanctioned source of comedy to instruction. Today, we're going to have a look at the Grand Offensive Doctrine, one of the free commanders added here earlier in the year. And I repeat, it is free. You basically, start out with it. It offers up to a, well, series of very handy abilities and probably is one of the better Obo Commander Vest Doctrines at the moment, even if it slightly lacks in direction. We start out. Sorry about that. Basil's being a bit. Uh, Awfully playful, but you start out with the Panzer Fusiliers, an infantry unit that's slightly below Volkskundinis in power level to start out with, but sort of you sort of you know get them to survive longer. They usually have more power than them since they can a get G for defeating the sixth man, which definitely makes them better than Volkskundinis. Or you can equip them with Panzer Strikes, which gives you something in terms of firepower, a bit more durable and flexible than say the Kedenf, and also with more firepower, though they do have less range. Additionally, they also start out with the anti tank rifle grenade, which does give you an option there versus allied players who go for uh, light vehicles against you, like say the dart truck or the M3A1. So the Panzer players also there sort of have a bit of a meta possibility. Stuka smoke drops, very handy ability, can both be used a as reconnaissance or a smoke screen. So you can combine the two, basically allowing to scout out your opponent's positions and. Occasionally, if you know they keep positioning something not in a particular spot, you can use them to sort of throw down smoke at the same time, prepare for an advance, it can be used to cover your attacks, or it can be used to, you know, cover retreat to just, you know, frustrate your opponent. So, very handy little ability there with a lot of flexibility. You got the Infrared Sturmgewehr 44 package for the Orbe Soldaten. Gives them better sort of uh, close to mid-range firepower, makes them better dealing with units in cover and garrisons, and is just very handy. Gives them a lot of firepower, very good, in particular a couple of squads with them. Can actually lay down a lot of firepower. You get the Panzer Command ability, which allows your tanks to see farther, which is particularly good with stuff like Panthers or King Tigers, or even the Tiger Tank, obviously. Plus the Panther 4 benefits from it, plus the, I believe they, there's also another bonus, maybe a bit of accuracy, which also, of course, makes them better that way. In particular, the Panther 4 can benefit from that, becoming even better sniping infantry. And finally, they can call in artillery strikes. Not as fast as some of the Allied versions they can call in, but still pretty good, so they disrupt Allied positions. And finally, you get the Tiger Tank, a slightly different version compared to the Wehrmacht one with some slightly different abilities, but overall, it's still a Tiger Tank, it's more accessible than the King Tiger, and it's probably one of the main reasons why most players go for Grand Offensive Doctrine. I mean, overall, as a Doctrine, it's sort of more of a late-game Doctrine, like you have some stuff in the early game, but even that sort of like only comes to like really into play like mid-game. So it's not really an early game Doctrine, it's sort of a game where you're sort of like trying to, you know, Maybe accept some slight weakness in the early game if you go for the Panzer this heavily, but you're sort of tr using that to sort of transform him to a stronger mid to late game position as your tanks perform better. You get access to the Tiger tank, and of course, you get stronger infantry with more firepower in different ways. Plus, you get a bit more tactical utility that way. So, it's, I think, very solid doctrine for the Obokomers. Good amount of flexibility. Could perhaps lack a bit more, or do with a bit more flair, some bigger abilities in a sense, but overall it works and you know it's probably also one of the more straightforward commanders to use at the moment in the game and there's certainly a clear reason why it is so popular with many players at the moment. And again, it's free, you don't have to pay a single cent or dime for it. So that also makes I think attractive for players new to the game as well. So they can just start out with a pretty good over command West commander if that is what they wish to play. So very solid there. And again sort of for the sort of mid late game sort of type style of play, if you prefer something more early game, there is obviously Luftwaffe Ground Forces, just as a small suggestion there, but that sort of covers Ground Offensive Doctrine, hopefully it's been helpful for you in sort of getting a bit of video how to utilise the Commander. If it has, please feel free to subscribe, like, share and comment, all that stuff. I'll be off for now and see you all in the time for another video. Cheers!